The Campus Insider is going back to the future before Trey Waynes was an all Big Ten first teamer, before Melvin Gordon led Wisconsin to a Big Ten title in 2012, and Randy Gregory became a star at Nebraska. Hi, everybody. I'm Ray Kroc. We're dusting off the DeLorean and traveling 1.21 gigawatts with our co-pilot and recruiting insider, Alan True from Scout.com. And Alan, tell us more about these former three-star recruits who are going to be stars in the NFL. Well, starting off with Trey Waynes, Trey was about 155 pounds the summer before his junior season. So it wasn't until after that year when he added some weight, went to Michigan State summer camp, that he picked up that offer from the Spartans, which I think was his first Big Ten Power Five type offer. He had mostly one double A type interest before that. And then he actually went to the same high school as Melvin Gordon at Kenosha Bradford. And Melvin, kind of like Trey, was a skinnier kid, but he played varsity and was a star his sophomore year. But because he was only 175 pounds, he got a lot of offers as a defensive back. So he committed to Iowa, which was the only school that really offered him the chance to be a running back. Wisconsin had recruited him as an athlete. And it wasn't until the Badgers changed their mind and said, Melvin, you can be a tailback here, that he ended up switching his commitment to Wisconsin, where the rest was history. As for Randy Gregory, he had 18 sacks as a senior, but the issue with him was in the defense he played, and he was inside a lot. And it wasn't until he got to Arizona Western during junior college where they moved him out to the edge, and people really started to figure out, hey, this guy is a big-time, next-level type pass rusher. So I think that move to Arizona Western did him a whole lot of good. Well, Alan, thanks as always. We appreciate it. Well, this DeLorean is not going anywhere, so look around and watch our other draft videos here on Campus Insiders.